In the very first service that we had listened to, we were talking about following God. In this very given service, I am going to speak about walking with God. When I say about walking, I mean making a movement with Him side by side. It can be on the north side, on the west side, on the east side, or on the southern side. Irrespective of the direction you will be taking, but you will be walking with God. Someone say amen. amen. David here like this. The wisest king so ever lived. A man who endured God with all respect. On whose heart Jehovah was his God. Praise the Lord. And he taught his children. And them that did hacking unto him had a successful life. In my message, I want you to know this. Hallelujah. That God is God. Praise the Lord. I would also want you to realize this. That God preserves them that are his. Hallelujah. Amen. And lastly, I will want you to know that walking with God pays. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter 7 speaks of a young man by the name David. I mean Joseph. Joseph was a son to Jacob and the firstborn of Rachel to the second wife of Jacob. Hallelujah. Joseph, right away from his childhood, he reverended God at all costs. Despite the fact that his father was always astonished by his dreams, and on the other hand, or on the other hand, his brothers hated him because of his dreams. He never gave up, but he stood firm. Praise the Lord. But thank God because of his mother who kept silent. Literally said in the scriptures of what she was thinking. But I think in her heart she was praising and adoring God for having given such a great dreams to his son. Remember at one time he told his father, yes, we were shivering the wheat, but your shivers gathered around and they danced around mine. And his father asked him, what do you mean? You want to tell us that we shall worship and bow before you? That was the first dream. His brothers were so much annoyed by his dream. Secondly, he talked and spoke to them. Oh, I saw the sun, the moon, and the stars bowing before me. Now, it became a reality to his father that it is God lifting this young man. Though he kept that unto himself, and the mother kept that unto himself, but his brothers hated him more. That never defeated him from following God or neither speaking of what God wanted. And one day is a story very much familiar to you. When he took some food to them while they were in the wilderness taking care of the animals so that they may have something to eat, they took that opportunity and maximized on it, saying that now the dreamer comes. Now the dreamer comes. Little did Joseph know that they had intended evil unto him. But he knew he was walking with God. Anytime you walk with God, irrespective of what people may plan unto you, be assured you are safe. And that's why. 
the psalmist David said, Though I walk in the valley of death, I shall not fear. Praise the Lord. Amen. Though I pass through a shadow of death, I shall not fear, for thou art with me. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so, and so Joseph knew that God is God and he will be with him. And so they took hold of him. And while they were thinking of evil, because Reuben knew them, he said, why should we kill him? There is a sister. Let us put him in heat. And they knew that Reuben at one time, he will save this man. And so they conspired to see to it that they are away from Rupen or they sent Rupen away. What happened, the Bible doesn't explain vividly. But in the absence of Rupen, when the Ishmaelites were coming, who were the Midianites, marchers, the Bible reports that Judah approached them and Rupen was not in, in their presence. He told them, why should we shed our brother's blood? Why can we save these Ishmaelites? Maybe Joseph was here for your mother, but one of them became clear at him that my God saves, my God preserves. Irrespective of what they will do unto me, I know. He was never perplexed. He remained calm. As a sheep, he turned him to slaughter. He asked why. His power. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible reports, he was sold to this Midianites. He was taken to Pharaoh. Praise the Lord. He was taken to Egypt. And while in Egypt they saw his handsomeness, his well up, filled up body. Pharaoh, who was Potiphar, was pleased. And they bought Joseph. They made him to be in charge of the house with an exception of the wife. You know what the wife did. But Joseph is remained firm. He knew that he was in the hands of God. He is being well preserved by God. Many are the things that he went through for the house or Potiphar's household that was so much humiliated to the extent that he was sent to jail. But inside his heart, he glorified God. Amid the problems, Amid all the strains that he was going through, amid the rejection that came from my home crown or from my home country, my little brothers have sold me, but he continued walking with God. Amen. Amen. He continued walking with God. He never gave up. He never started lamenting, but he remained in that believing that God. He will make him reach his destiny. What is your destiny? Oh, it is in the upper hands of God. Not in man's hands. It is in the upper hands of God. The, 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 prayer, or the prayer of your heart should be that God be with me. God go with me. And all shall be well. Someone say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Someone say amen. amen. I want to speak to you this very given morning. When you walk with God, He makes you stress free. When you walk with God, Hallelujah! Them that despise you, they will power for you one day. Amen! Because you are walking with the King of Kings. Why did He was still in prison? Praise the Lord. God lifted his mind and he made him a father, the head of the prison. And one day, the Bible 
for the Lord. In his settled mind, in his peaceful life. A heart that was peaceful because he knew I'm walking with God. Away from my parents, but close with God. Walking with him side by side. Enjoying his protection, enjoying his blessings, enjoying his encouragement. He stood far with God. Joseph was not the only man that saw God. Many other people, they're not walking with God. Elijah walked with God. Elijah walked with God. Abraham was chosen just because he, would, he loved God and he walked with him. You, they are not the only people. You are also one of them because you have decided to do away with all assignment, with all appointments, with all the professional duties that you have taken. You have decided to come so that you may be walking with God. The Bible says that they that walk yet with God. He will always protect them, will always shield them, he will always attend to their needs. Joseph, as he was in prison, not knowing what will come next, so assured that God will give himself, he learned that you are being called by God. And then he comes. He's chosen to the second in command in the whole country of Egypt. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that they all give an order. That what shall happen in Egypt is but is but as Joseph's word. If he shall not speak any word, then everything will remain at a standstill. And he took him around, put around him very fine purple linen cloth, showing that he is now a royal man. From a prisoner to a king, from shame to glory. When you are with God, you are moved from shame to glory. Praise the Lord. Is somebody somewhere listening to me? Is somebody somewhere listening to me? So don't be faced by what you are going through. It doesn't matter what people are thinking, but God is well with you. As I conclude, may I say this. When you walk with God, your dream comes to pass. His brothers argued with him. His father said, you mean you, we shall power before you. But at long last now we see them coming back to Egypt at the word of Joseph so that they may be saved. And they all bowed before him as Joseph had seen the dream. And now they come to hear us. So it was God speaking to this man. Praise the Lord. When you walk with God, he preserves you. Even amid his temptation, he makes a way. Amen. Amid all the trust that men would have met, he makes a way. Amid all the sicknesses that might have encountered you, he brings help you alive and you are saved. Praise the Lord. When you walk with God, them that were your enemies, even if it is from your very household, he nestles thee at peace with you. And God's glory it is manifested in you. I call upon you this very given afternoon. What is sin that has been injuring you? What is sin that has been stressing you? What is it that has been troubling you? Your destiny still stands. Even if men shall rise against you, they shall never thwart your destiny. They try to thwart Joseph's destiny. But God, because he was walking with God, he came beneath the destiny that God had prepared for him. Let them know what they want to learn. Let them say what they want to say. Behind them in front of you. But I want to tell you, this very given afternoon, your destiny shall come from the people of God.
that he does not know. He passed through so many glories, but along last week, I mean Joseph coming to his testimony so comfortably. Imagine the brothers wanted to kill him. He forgave them and accepted them. When you forgive and let it go, what has been hurting you? And let them go. You, you don't carry them that have been hurting you. That is the time you open with your heavenly blessing. He let it go. Any anger, anything that could make him look as though he's not a Christian, look as though he's not that person that works with God. People that walk with God don't carry other people in their hearts, but they forgive. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Second woman, Joseph walked well with God. At long last now, can see what for. He would have been to China looking for a very nice sweeter, a beautiful sweeter, a very nice sweeter. Now you can imagine this daughter of the Christ of all. And what for when he was and started for everything and for all the requirements that Joseph did need for his marriage. Is somebody Man. 